Hi guys, this is Steffi and this is my God story. This is my God story. This is my God story. 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 So my encounter with God, it wasn't one instance which changed my life. It's been a journey of ups and downs and it definitely still continues to be one. Um, my, I think the biggest contributor to uh, my journey in faith has definitely been the fact that we have been so blessed to have so many retreats happening in Bulgaria. I think that each retreat has brought me closer to God and has um, kindled this desire in my heart to do more for God. But definitely, I was held back. Something always held me back from taking that plunge and going all in for God. Um, I think a lot of it was partly worldly things and also um, my past. And I just felt very undeserving. I felt like, why would God want me to do something when there is someone better who can get the job done? Um, I was always comparing myself to others and all those things, all those negativities really held me back. I remember always asking God for a sign, uh, something to tell me, you know, I should just do it. Um, and then last year we had a retreat in Bulgaria and during that time we had our friends from Pleven come over and they had been doing home missions in Pleven and it was going really well and I wanted them to do one for me and honestly that was um, life changing. I think God was giving me that sign that I had asked for. Um, God really spoke through them to me and I really realized just how much he loves me for me and despite all my faults and everything else he loves me and he doesn't compare me to someone else. Um, I think that was that was a push I needed for sure. It doesn't mean that you know it's still not a struggle like every day we fall uh, but we just have to get back up and uh, realize just how much God loves you uh, despite everything that you have done. So to people watching this, what I want to say is do not let uh, your past and things that you've done, don't let those things hold you back from turning to God because God doesn't care about that. When he saved you through Jesus Christ, he gave you a new life and, and he made you a new creation. There is nothing in this world that can uh, give you a blank slate like God can. Um, so don't uh, you know? Don't think you are not worth it because you are, and God thinks you're worth it. Um, so I just want to end with 2 Corinthians 5:17. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. Uh, see, everything has become new. So I. I hope that you believe that with all your heart and trust in that. Um, God bless.